Have you ever boofed? I'm going to. I don't share straws and don't reverse the straw. <laughs> That's why I love it. My friends call me horse girl. Did you strict guidelines, many parts, and even full interviews were cut from the following video. For the full uncut video, join our Patreon, patreon.com slash substance. Before we dive into today's Shambhala 2023 video, we want you guys to know that we do not promote or glorify the use of any compound. And the intent of this video is purely to educate the audience on what can happen. I repeat, the following has been created strictly to document what happens at these types of festivals. So if you're thinking about going, you guys know what to expect. I mean, this is the reality of what they're like. Enjoy. We just got married at Shambhala! That's awesome! Let's go. Congratulations! Hell yeah. What's your name? Uh, my name's Luke. Luke, nice to meet you, Luke. Nice and to you meet you. Are? Hi, I'm Hannah. Hello. Hannah, hi. hi. Are you on any drugs right now, and what are you taking later? Um, I'm on ketamine right now. I was smoking DMT earlier, but it's out of my system. And then I think tonight my game plan is uh, 2CB, cocaine, ketamine, and DMT. What is your drug to take at the festival? What's your drug of choice? Uh, well, yesterday we took some ketamine. Uh, today maybe some mushrooms. Uh, tomorrow maybe MDMA. Yeah. What drugs are you doing at the festival? Anything? Well, I tried ketamine for the first time this morning, right before uh, movement uh, exercise class which was nice. Well, we did K for the first time the other night, and that was amazing. You liked it? Oh, yeah. It was God, I hate ketamine. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not for me. Tell me why I should like ketamine. It's like, it's, I liked it because it's like cocaine if you were in the 70s and also like hit a joint at the same time, and also you just feel a little silly, a little wonky, and like you kind of want to like neigh and run around like a pony. So that's how you feel on it? Yeah, that's why I love it. My friends call me horse girl. Horse girl? Yeah. That almost sounds like an insult. No, it's not. I have a custom shirt that they made for me. That's cute. Would it be a stretch to say that your favorite drug at the festival is ketamine? Oh, yeah, I know. That's my favorite drug, I'd have to say. Yeah. It was like it was like being drunk without being drunk. Yeah, it was like floating around. I felt more social, too. That was yeah, cool. Yeah. So we had, uh, so yesterday we had Molly, and the mixture was really nice as well. Just ketamine for you? Is that, that's your favorite thing? I like everything. Everything? Okay. Not at the same time. Not at, no, not at the same time, please. No. That would be dangerous. Academy, like maybe a little molly, like in a little bit of molly water. Gotcha. Slowly drink it. Gotcha. Not too crazy. You guys do the same shit? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Stay on the same level? Yeah, we go to the adventure right. together. He's, yeah. Stuff hits him a lot harder. My body's like more resistant to everything. I think it's a metabolism thing. Oh, yeah. It's very strange. Yeah. Or do we have different enzymes and some people have more or less of a certain enzyme that breaks it down faster or slower. Okay. And different drugs can be different. It's like yeah, everyone's so different. I'm a bit of a nerd with my drugs. The stuff that I bought to bring up here, I put through like a three-stage like wash to wow. like clean out. You did your own acetone wash? Yeah, we lost half of what we bought. So like, but then now we actually have what we want. No, I would rather that. You know, it's still it's not good for you. I just want to meet you. Okay. Picture, dude. Like I've been a fan since before I even came to Trump. Really? I remember watching this shit just to get an idea of what I was going to experience. And look at you, you're all decked out in Shambhala. Yeah, well, thank That's you. awesome. Thank you. Made That's it all awesome. myself. You're part of the reason why I wanted to come here. Why? How did I influence that? Because I was watching all your videos and I'm like, these are my people. I love your energy. You seem so happy. I bring happiness uh, pretty much everywhere I go. That's my favorite thing about this. And your outfit. Thank you have a, you. I love fanny packs. Uh, this is my shit. All right, I'm here with the reoccurring character. <laughs> What's your name? My name's James. With his dad, I remember you. Yeah, I was here with my dad. Talking about ayahuasca, I heard. I went there, did that. That's where that was from. Oh, yeah, right. Right. Oh, Peru, is yeah. it Peru, I was gonna say. Peru. You did that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Is your dad still doing drugs? Oh yeah, yeah, but he's not here doing drugs this time. Yeah, yeah, he's, you know, he's old. He's tapering out a little bit. What are your, your drug use these days? These days, um, I do a little bit, a little bit of everything, a little bit. A little bit of ketamine, a little bit of cocaine, mushrooms, um, LSD, very, very reserved amounts of MDMA. How about you? I mean, I really prefer to do Molly. Molly of everything. Over everything, <laughs> but it makes me sad later. Yeah. So what drugs do you prefer here in this environment? So M is my, my go-to, but there's only so much of that I feel I can do, and I, I don't want to- You're gonna burn out eventually, though. Yes, so I, I'm very careful about how much I'm doing that. You know what? Honestly, your videos talking about serotonin syndrome has made me so cautious about it. And I've had so many friends that were just doing MDMA every day, all the time. And I've warned my dad multiple times about using MDMA because he would come to this festival and do it four days in a row. No, and I'm no, like, bad dad, bad don't. dad. So it's your first festival? Yes, this is my first festival ever. Are you on anything? Yeah, a couple of tabs. No, really? hits of acid. Wow. Three of them. 
Three? Are you serious? Yeah, like two hours ago. So you're feeling it? Yeah, it's starting to kick in a little. Bit. If I was on three tabs, I would not be talking to me right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, maybe it's no good. I don't know. You have a high tolerance to this stuff? Not really. Just dabble, dabble, dabble. Are you following this good sir tonight and having cocaine and the rest of the shit he said? I'll probably do 2CB, maybe some more mushrooms, and then ketamine is my baseline, so a lot of that. <laughs> you don't do anything else out here? No, I mean, I do some mush. I've done some mushrooms, I have some acid, um, a little bit of coke, I'm gonna do some molly tonight. I did just get a boofing kit here, maybe oh, I can, wow. yeah. <laughs> I actually talked to someone and he's like, Adam, you taught me how to boof. And do you know what else I can teach you? How to take your internet privacy and security back into your own hands. Which is this video's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. And if you sign up today using the code PSYCHED, you're going to get an amazing 83% off, as well as a shocking three months free, which I believe unlocks the best price for VPN on the market, besides allowing you to block your internet provider from seeing a lot of these taboo things you're doing, such as these videos could be taboo. If you're also researching other, I don't know, compounds, that's taboo. Your internet provider can see all of that. So using a VPN allows you to basically block what they see. It also allows you to use a video streaming service and change your country location to give you new videos to watch. So, and also what helps me is if you guys sign up for Surfshark, they are more likely to sponsor future videos, which of course helps the channel. So again, that's 83% off with the code PSYCHED. And let's get back to these Shambhala interviews. Cheers. Really? Apparently I don't remember this, but I taught him how to boof. Yeah, no, that makes that sounds like you, honestly. That sounds like something you would do. Yeah, so we asked anchors and they told us, uh, blow it up your butt with a straw, don't share straws, and don't reverse the straw. <laughs> and so we came to ask, I knew you were here because my friends had seen you and I, I'm a bit of fan of you, so I was like, yeah, well just ask him how. You said to mix it in water and then all my friends said it was great. What did you boof? We all boof him on the MDMA. That's yeah. strong. Holy shit, that's we did less. No though, pun like, intended. Holy yeah. shit. We did less, like you said, and yeah. it was a good idea. Yeah, you want what did you cut it in half? Or you did three quarters uh, I, about? I think around half or three quarters, something like that. Yeah. How long did it take to hit you? By the time I stood up. Really? <laughs> yes. Holy f is good. So you hear that? When you boof drugs, it hits you instantly. You yeah. save money, but guess what? It's dangerous. Do you know why? why? It bypasses the liver. The uh, liver filters out some of the impurities. So don't so do it a lot. If you're boofing, you need to make sure it's really pure. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever boofed? I'm going to probably tomorrow, yeah. I've never With what, MDMA? Um, I'm not, I think I'm gonna do MDMA, yeah. You know like what to do, right? Light. Light? Light, keep it light. light. It hits so hard. Okay, okay, just a little. Do not do your full dose, you'll be f***ing blasted. Okay, I promise, I promise, I promise, psych substance. You can always take more up your ass later. <laughs> <laughs> it just would be funny and it's like, Shambla is a once in a lifetime experience. Yeah. And it's my first. I mean, I've tried it. It just it hits so hard. Yeah, I boofed like, once. Do you want to know what I boofed? What? Yes. 2CB? How did you know? I think I saw a video saw on video. it. <laughs> yeah. They're going to do that tomorrow. The, dude, same. As soon as I stood up, I did 10 milligrams, I think. Oh, and it felt like 30. I would like to find some 2CB. Everyone I've talked to wants 2CB. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I love 2CB. It's my favorite psych. It's wow. like, I never hear that. That's cool. I like to start with like a 15 milligram. For like festivals like this, like I'd probably do that and then I just increase every single day. I just like to get over the hump of anxiety and then like then I'll go, I think the highest I ever did was like 280 in a day, but that was, that was day, That's insane. That was day three of doing it. So but like. What did you start at? What was the first one? Uh, the first one was 20. Is there any negative health? Uh, I honestly, I don't find any, like 2CB, I find I don't feel bad afterwards, but I really like it. It's just visuals, cool body high, very touchy feely. The touchy feely is great. It's good with yeah. a partner. Yeah, it's 2CB alone is kind of bullshit. Yeah. You have no one to touch. I know, I know. We we love doing 2CB together. It's our favorite thing to do up here. We're um, on the way to find 2CB somewhere. Yeah. Why do you prefer 2CB? Like why why did we've you choose? Never, we've never tried it before, but she's been doing a bunch of research on it and like what like doing a lot of like drugs. So did you know the difference between 2CB and 2CB? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. Vaguely. I know that they're different. I don't feel confident enough to say that I... Just don't do it if it's pink, okay? Okay. Is that new one? What is it a mix of? It's MDMA, ketamine, an a MDMA? random a really? random opioid is in it. It's like everything. Oh. Don't do that. Be careful. Yeah, 2CB welcome. used to be like the most safe drug you could find. Really? But now they named another drug the same name. Are you guys on, are you on anything right now? Yeah, I'm on mushrooms and ketamine. Yeah. Like, are you dramatically high or just no, a little bit? No, just like a little microdose um, of mushrooms in a chocolate bar. I'm also trying to do a bit of shrooms here and, and just on the lighter side. I feel like that's a bit hard because when you're 
you know, you're inward going, you don't necessarily want this overwhelming crowd. You want to be just gentle with the dose. Yeah. So that's, I'm open to trying some other things, but I'm, I'm definitely going with like dipping my toe in the water because I don't want to throw myself into anything too uh, overwhelming again. I like that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I want to take it, be smart about it, but enjoy myself. Are you on any drugs now, and do you plan on doing any later? Uh, not now. Well, I'm planning on doing some M and some mushrooms later. Is it, is it a good mix for I, you? I love the mix, dude. Yeah, now no, I do. Just microdose, and then, you know, throughout the night, just uh, take a little bit of sips of um, M Gatorade, because I usually just M mix Gatorade? it with It's not Gatorade. too bitter? Usually I'm gone at that point. I don't really talk about the taste. Yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. like, some people hate the taste. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. I don't mind. It's <laughs> yeah. about the high. I'll yeah. take any taste to get that high. <laughs> Different drug every night. Yeah. You're the yeah, same? I'm more of a stimulant kind of person. Do you take MDMA at the uh, It's tomorrow and uh, Sunday I will do MDMA. Oh, so you're the only one tripping out of the two of you? Yeah, with my friends over there. Okay. What is your favorite drug to do at these festivals? You've been only to acid. one. Acid? Okay. Yeah, that's the number one. It's going to be acid, but it's when you're mobbing acid. on Molly sometimes, it's a Have good a time. Molly and acid. A little bit of a candy flip? That's there nice, dude. I like it, yeah. What are you on right now? Anything? Right now? Yeah. Nothing but life. Awesome. How about you? Yeah, I'm sober for now, but we got a backpack full of uh, psychedelics, so we're going to go... Uh... So that's your go-to, psychedelics? Yeah. 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 Do you guys ever do stuff like acid together or MDMA together? Yeah, I actually have a couple tabs here. Oh, nice. I think we're going to split it in half, do half. Yeah? I've never tried it. you never done it? No. Oh. I'm a little scared. I don't want to influence it, so I'm not no, going to say anything, but... Yeah. I've had it with, like, we touched our heads, and I swear we were hearing each other's thoughts. Yeah. Like, you can go so deep. Yeah, dude. I think I heard, like, the trip lasts so long, and people tell me not to do it, and it's like, it will, like... Like give me PTSD. I think acid is less scary than mushrooms, to be honest. Okay. For me, yeah. Do you prefer mushrooms over acid? Do you have a preference? Uh, acid over mushrooms because you don't get the stomach crunch. After 15 minutes of chewing it with honey, honey's acidic and it helps break it down. So once you swallow it after chewing that long, it doesn't upset your stomach. All right, Trent. Yeah. We're back with the drum guy. We are. Hello. How are you? You seem different this year. Well, I'm not on drugs right now. <laughs> and I'm not holding my drum. And I'm not wearing my tie dye. Wait. More ass! When, when you eat more acid and you wear more tie-dye, you uh, you gain superpowers, so. Kind of just, you know, just a little drifty before. I don't know, I was probably pretty high. So is that your favorite drug to do here, mushrooms? At the festival, or is it different at a festival? At a festival, I don't know, I'm not... Acid's really fun. If you really want to taste sound and see color, like see sound and taste colors, like do some acid. I don't know, swim in the river naked. That's a good drug too. Are you on any drugs right now? I'm actually not on any drugs because I spent last night with a group of swingers. Did a really? bunch of ketamine, no way. had some fun, and then 6.30 I left there. Yeah. Are you single? I'm single. And you're with one? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, I snuck into the crowd. The one, the one broad, 39 years old, she's like, you remind me of Stifler. So she's calling me Stifler all night. I wish we could have that level of connection all the time. You know, like that's why this exists. I try and bring it as much as I can into regular life. You know, you're in the elevator with somebody and you're just like, hey, where'd you get that food? Or like, what, what did you get up to today? And just have a little moment with them, like totally isolated, but you're both excited about something or happy to talk about something together with a total stranger. I think that's, you get that so much here. I'd say Shambhala is probably the place to try it too. Yeah. I mean, no judgment here, man. I just feel like everyone's family here, man. I was just in the food lineup and a guy's eating pasta and kind of dancing. And I look at him and I start dancing too. And we both just had a little moment. And I love that. That's like the best part. Right, sweet, it was nice chatting with you guys. I hope you guys have a good time. Yeah, yeah. It's great to meet you. Nice meeting you, man. Nice meeting you. Come here. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. Take care. Sweet. Happy Tom Fan. Really nice seeing Come you. Come say hi again. I You're a cool dude. Thank you, man. It was really good seeing you. You as well. Like I said, I like your energy. Thank you. Have a good uh, rest of your shams. Yeah. Appreciate you and your channel and everything you do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank right. you. Cheers, man. Happy shams.